Good afternoon, everybody. It's Colleen here from Get Art Creations. Thank you for stopping by. I have a couple of um, unboxings to do that have been in my craft room, still in their boxes um, for several, several days. I just, I have not had a chance to go through these precious gifts. Uh, this one I did purchase, and this one was a beautiful box of Happy Mail that I received from Brenda, from a friend of mine. She's a fellow crafter. I'll link her below. She's very, very talented. Uh, Brenda, I don't know if I won a, a contest of yours or if this is Happy Mail, but we're about to find out. I thank you so much either way. So grab some coffee. We're going to go through these two packages together for the first time. And it is about time. I've been very, very busy the last week and a half. I haven't had a minute. So today we shall do this. So I, all I did was undo the, was the flap of the, of the box. Wow, Brenda, what has she done? She, uh, Brenda Clark, has been crafting for quite some time. She is also uh, a person that lives in BC. She also now goes by the name, also known as the Simple Crafter. And again, I will link her below. But, but Brenda, this is so adorable. You know, we can never have too many books. Thank you so much, Brenda. How sweet of you to do that, to think of me in this way. Okay, um, well, let's see. What do I do first here? This is really cool canvas fiber material. Colleen, note enclosed. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's up here. <clears throat> Warms the soul inside and out. What a cute card. My dear Colleen, I hope you will be able to use these bits of goodness in your crafts. The old papers and such, I believe the dates are on them. Some quite old. Thank you for being so inspiring to me. Have a lovely day. Blessings. So I'm guessing this is just for a no reason and some happy mail from her. Brenda, thank you. You inspire me as well, my friend. You truly do. Okay, let's start with this. Oh, look at this little cluster of goodness. So it looks like a bag. Does it come apart? Nope, it does not come apart. Isn't this adorable? And a cute charm. All these little, so it's a triple bag. She'd sewn them together and she has stuffed the little bags. How adorable. With all her talents. See what I mean? She comes up with the greatest ideas, I tell you. Made from papers and stamps and embellishments. This is really cute. Oh, and this is a puzzle piece. Oh, that's so adorable. Okay, I'm going to try to put this in properly. So this goes back in the first little pouch. What a great idea. And a little paper swatch. So cute. Oh, I love to make these as well. Very, very sweet. I am definitely going to find all kinds of reasons to, to use these in my journaling, Brenda. Very, very cute book page made into two pockets another book page some some collaging looks like you backed it onto file folder clever clever this is such a cute little gift oh my goodness <clears throat> and look at this a typewriter and waxed seal I do not have any of this wax seal stuff yet but I saw a cool idea I'm going to do a little uh, video on it um, to see if it even works, but I'll, I'll show you um, another day. But this is really, really cute. I love it. This would even look really nice on top of a journal cover. Hmm. Beautiful, beautiful uh, lace, <clears throat> a lace uh, runner. Ooh, and it's nice and long, Brenda. And I can cut out individual flowers too. How cute. Oh my goodness, Brenda. Oh my goodness. Look at this, you guys. Look at this. Oh, that. I love this. 
I asked her recently if this was for sale and I'm not even sure if I found out or if I got busy and I just didn't follow up, but she gave it to me, Brenda. Oh my goodness. You're such a sweetheart. You truly, truly are. Oh, how adorable. Okay, I am so excited to go through this. Look at the beautiful, um, look at the beautiful lace, vintage, uh, vintage lace, laces, I sh should say. Look at these beautiful flowers. Oh my goodness, a lot went into this, these little doilies. Oh, you guys, I hope this is in, can you just see this? It's so super tactile. I don't know what you call these. I guess, I guess this is just a, oh my goodness, as usual, words are escaping me. But this is a treasure. I will treasure this, Brenda. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the work. Look at the detail. All the sewing that you did. Kiss hug, kiss hug. Oh my goodness. It's so, so beautiful. You guys, I hope you follow her channel. If you don't, I really would encourage you to subscribe to her channel. Honestly, I think she puts out a video a day. I don't know how she does it. Look at this. How beautiful is this? Absolutely stunning. Wow. I'm touched. I'm so touched, Brenda. I'm going through this way too quickly, I know. Um, but I'm going to sit and look through this later on yet. I cannot thank you enough. That is the most special thing ever. How sweet. I so, so appreciate this. Look at these cute keys. I, I've never seen one like that. Wow. Oh. So adorable. Thank you so much. And another, another little treasure here. Oh my. Miss Brenda. Nice rope here. Definitely reuse that as well. This, this is super cool. This would be cool to use at Christmas time. Pine trees. Ah yes, the old paper she mentioned and it's gorgeous. Look at this. Lovely. Beautiful. Wow. That's beautiful, Brenda. This is cool. <laughs> Translated from the Italian Jenny McPhee and Martha McPhee. Wow, that is really cool. This is going to be um, stuffed in the very near future that's super cool what a cool idea and these pages you can tell are very old by the color beautiful german looks like a german songbook absolutely beautiful who'd have thunk super super old pages would be described as beautiful but you get this, I know you do. Those of you watching my channel right now, you get it. You get it. Now this is beautiful. Look at the gold, the gold gilding. I'm not sure what you call that, but <clears throat> beautiful trim, lace trim. Oh yes. Another piece of, uh, <clears throat> part of a lace, uh, I guess tablecloth maybe, or who knows, placemat. Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> I guess that's upside down. Yes, this is old. Definite 1966. That's the year I was born. Beautiful. So fun. So, so fun. These are reprints from the New York Times. The book dates back to the early 1800s. Wow. Beautiful. That's a treasure. 
Oh, this is cool. A very old envelope. Probably had a um, oh, bank receipts. Super cool. <clears throat> That's going to be made into something. And another one. Oh, I love these. Life insurance. Love, love, love. And some more old magazines. Wow. Beautiful. Some German songs. Some old pages. Wow. I love these pages. These make some great collaging. Um, they're pretty brittle, which is probably what I would use them for. Or not. I don't know. Maybe we'll make some tags and strengthen them up. Yeah. 1870, 1910. Probably a reprint, but... Very, very cool. Brenda, thank you. So, so sweet of you to think of me like, like this, my darling. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful treasures. Oh, the generosity. I love this group, this community of crafters. It's just so, so... Such a, a very happy, uplifting community of, of crafters. And I appreciate you all. <clears throat> I truly do. And again, this, this, oh my goodness. It's just so beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Brenda. Oh, you guys, you should follow her. Like I said, she like, she does so many tutorials. Okay, so this is a, a journal I purchased recently. It arrived from Australia. And I will say very quickly... I was impressed. I've sent journals to the States that take weeks. And this one arrived within a week. Within a week. Um, and I'm going to link this gal as well. I had not really... I don't know how I happened upon her, but I was perusing something. And there was this journal. And it caught my attention. And I just knew I had to have it. And I asked her if it was for sale. And it was. And it all happened pretty quickly. So... And I'm finally, I can't believe how disciplined I was not to open this, but I wanted to do it on my channel. And I'm not going to be that careful here. I'm going to get right into this already. <clears throat> it's a little golden book, and I love little golden books. I have so many. I've, I've made some into journals, but I also have, oh my goodness, so many books that I need to, so many little golden books that I need to make into journals myself. But I love to support other people's um, shops and whatnot. I think it's just nice to be able to do that. Um, and yeah, so here it is. Look at this little extra bundle of papers, more old papers. Oh, love it. You guys are going to just love this. It's the most adorable um Little go it's an old one, which is what caught my attention, but we'll get into that in one second. <clears throat> so here's some cute little ephemera pieces. See for Colleen. I imagine. I'm not sure if she planned that, Diane. Cute old tea cards and playing cards. And this is really old too. <clears throat> 1932. Huh. So cool flashcard and some book pages, a nice journaling card, and some more book pages. Oh, that was really sweet. What a nice gesture. Okay, it looks like a nice floral page from a book. I'm not sure which book, but it's beautiful, a botanical by the looks of it. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's look at this baby. Now, I, if I recall, it's called My Dolly and Me. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. And this is gorgeous, too. Sewing patterns to be reused again. Oh, see what I mean, you guys? Oh, my goodness. It's absolutely adorable. 
Look how old this book is. She's used corner book corners for um, medical corners. And this adorable blue denim spine covering. And a key on this sari silk tie. Oh, I just love it. Look at that little girl and her baby. Just took me back. Took me back. Love it. Okay, so let's go into this right now. Beautiful. Just so, so beautiful. You can just feel the authenticity of it. But, oh, 1961. That's right, 1961. Pocket and some old. Oh, look how old this postcard is. So cute. Oh, an old envelope flips open. Beautiful. An old, <clears throat> an old card written by somebody. Nine, or I guess in '85. So it's not vintage, but it's still pretty old. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. Look at this tag. Diane, I love it. And I love the color theme too. We have adventures, my dolly and me, because we like to pretend. Beautiful. An old bingo card. Looks like avocado dyed paper. An old, an old book page. Mm, so lovely. Just always so much fun to receive things, <clears throat> especially from even abroad, like Australia. Bird tag. Some, some um, applique here, a rose applique. This is cool. This is an old photograph. I guess a negative. Is that the queen? Oh my god, I can't tell, but <clears throat> interesting. Old receipt. Oh, I love it. Treasures tucked in these pockets. Piano roll. Flew the, flew the half lies, dolly, doll, my cute. Oh, isn't this just adorable, you guys? What oh, a flip up tag. Very cute. <laughs> Tickets tucked in there. That's really, that's a cool idea. I love the collaging here. Beautiful. And this is a bag. It's um, taped down and inside has a bunch of paper, paper treasures. Very, very pretty. I'm not going to go through this like in detail. I'll do that later. I'll look through it more closely. I just want to, I wanted to be able to share this with you guys first. Oh, that's a cute little dolly card. And her puppy. No book page pocket. Wow, look at this old page. <clears throat> Looks like she's bound it with uh, some sort of fiber material. Looks like, let's see, one, so there's three signatures. Layered pockets and some stuff tucked away. Papers and whatnot. Another old tea card or what have you. I'm not sure what you call these, but I've seen them. Mm 
beautiful. This is a cute dolly tuck, dolly and her teddy bear tuck. Well, that's a, an interesting bingo card. I haven't seen one of those before. I like how she did this. Not sure what she used, but <clears throat> very cute. Aww. Very cute. I am loving this, <clears throat> Diane, so much. So many different things to tuck away here. An old, looks like an old receipt of some sort and a journaling card. Nice. Of writing paper, I love that. A children's book, word book, a dictionary, obviously. Very nice. Oh my goodness, I love this. Look at the images. Just love, love it so much. My treasures. So cute. See, guys, just like we, we make these books, we take old, old books and we make them like new again. And we just stuff them full of old treasures that most people discard and throw away. And these kinds of things make us so excited. This is a nice digital of some sort. Cute pocket here. I love how she layers her pockets. Cute. Beautiful. She's made a little tuck in here. Very cute. And a postcard, an old postcard. Hmm. A triple pocket, layered, layered triple pocket. Again, I'm going to go through this slower later. Um, I just didn't want to take too much of your time here. Oh, and this is so cute. Oh, card catalog. Very cool. I love that. I just love this girl. So, so lovely. Middle of the signature. That's hilarious. Cute, cute card. Another bird tag, journaling card. I'm really glad I found this gal. Um, yeah, so oh, this is cute. This is one of those flip up. Envelope tag, pocket tag, a beautiful journaling card inside, backed onto craft paper by the looks of it. So lovely. The little details, hey? I must feed her with my own baby bottle while we rock, rock in the rocking chair. I love butterflies. Very lovely. 
I think we're nearing the end here. So let's see what we've got. So another bird tag, journaling card. Love this. Bye-bye for all good dollies must have a nap. <laughs> That's so cute. And she's left the, uh, the authentic back. It's in great shape, too. Wow, lovely. Just love it. Beautiful, Diane. I absolutely love it. So, yeah, I'm going to link her below, you guys, so you can check her out, I believe. I'm not sure if she has an Etsy. Um, oh, no, she has an Etsy, but I don't think she has a YouTube channel. I do believe she's on Instagram, though, so I will um, do my best to link what I can of her. And feel free to pop on over and subscribe to her or whatever. It's adorable. I'm so glad that I finally got to see this. So that's it, you guys. That's all I've got for you today. Wonderful treasures that came. And I could finally, finally find some time to go through this together with you today. So thank you for popping by and for watching along with me. I hope that I will see you guys again real soon. I do have a digital kit to share with you guys. Um, a new project I'm going to be working on. Thanks to Dawn from the Book Vandal Shop. She sent me a, one of her most recent kits and I'm going to make something beautiful with it, hopefully. And I will be sure and... Um, share it with you guys as well. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Sunday and we will catch up with you very soon. Okay. Bye everybody.